welcome back to my channel this is nana's food world today we are doing a very simple recipe as you all know i love simple recipes okay this is a Ghanaian dish that i really 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 like okay it's a very simple one it's uh, my traditional spinach stew okay it's spinach too but normally in ghana we use cocoa yam leaves it's called contumbri that's what we use for it but i don't have it here so i'm using spinach all right so let's get started so what i have here i have um some water just a little bit of water boiling with some scotch bonnet in it because i like spicy um steams okay so i'm going to just boil my spinach okay what i'm adding here we normally add this thing called quen susa to it but i don't have it here i really don't know the english name for that as well so but i'm using peas okay so i'm using peas for that so i'll put the peas into my it will not boil for a long time I'm not, I'm not going to overcook my veg and i'm going to put my spinach also in it so quick very quick recipe and then i'm going to add um normally i uh, just put the tomatoes i just roast the tomatoes i just have one um tomato i'm just putting a tomato in there like that just for it to cook and then i'll allow it to cook for a few minutes and then we go from there so guys for this recipe okay for this recipe we use we use it uh we eat it with plantain okay you can eat it with anything actually you can eat it with um with anything that you prefer but in Ghana we normally have it with plantain I just forgot to say that this recipe because I don't have contemporary the using of spinach and peas was inspired by Obapa's kitchen I watched this in Obapa's kitchen and I'm doing it because it looks so delicious okay so that is why so this is it is inspired by Obapa's kitchen you can check her channel and she's got a lot of lovely Ghanaian recipes that you can do and you will really love it so I'm going to just peel my plantain guys uh, my spinach is cooked you know spinach doesn't take a long time to cook and I've taken does it I've taken it out already so what I'm doing now before I continue with my stew I just want to um, boil my plantain so this is a plantain I've washed it nicely so I'm going to put that in the water but before that let me just put a little bit of salt in it okay and then i have some eggs in there i've already washed the eggs i washed my eggs so i have some eggs in there and i'm going to put my plantain so guys i'm using my earthen white pot okay if you watch my recipes you know that i use this some some of the in some of my recipes okay so um, this is what I'm using. So I have my scotch bonnet that I've already been cooked. So I'm going to just grind it nicely here. So guys, I'm adding um, some chopped onions, just our red onions. Right guys, as you can see, I didn't really grind it smoothly, okay? This is how I like it. I'm adding the tomatoes, just one tomato. You can see it's not that smooth. Just to give it a bit of texture. Right guys, so now I'm going to grind my spinach and peas. 
they are all together so I'm just I'm not going to do it smoothly as well keep it texture I really love the texture so guys I'm checking on my plantain I want to add um, salted fish okay I've cut them uh, cut into pieces I'm going to bring this recipe actually I'm going to show you how to do it it's called Kobe in Ghana all right it's just salted um, dried tilapia so it's quite easy to do I'm going to show you that recipe later on okay so I'm going to put this uh, and boil it with my plantain you know fish doesn't take long to cook so as it's cooking my plantain is cooking it take a just few minutes and i'm done with that so i just want to put the fish in and just cook it together very easy so guys i have um palm oil in a pan so normally add palm oil to the spinach okay so what i'm going to do i have this fermented fish okay i'm going to give you the recipe later all right so this fermented fish gives a lot of um really lovely taste to the to the stew okay so this is what we use what i've done already i'll give you the recipe later on but it's quite similar to anchovies all right so this is what i have here so what i'm going to do normally in ghana we just just put this on fire for a little bit and then we just um grind it with the spinach in the pot so what I'm going to do here I'm not going to roast I'm going to put that into my palm oil so I'm going to fry that and then before I add it to the spinach so guys what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the fermented fish and I'm going to just add it onto my stew. It gives it a lovely, lovely, lovely taste. So guys, I wanted to add the fermented fish before I add salt because I don't want it to be salty. It needs just a little bit of salt. So guys, before I add the palm oil, I want to add a bit of onion. Smells amazing. So guys, my oil is ready. Just pour it. Okay, so this is our traditional spinach stew okay it tastes amazing all right so what I have here I have some eggs I have some avocado okay and this is the salted fish I was telling you about I'll, I'll give you the recipe soon and also this is the spinach stew it tastes amazing you have to try this recipe and what you normally have it with is Okay, plantain. It's nicely boiled. Okay, you put the plantain in cold water when you finish boiling it so that you give it a specific texture. Okay, so this is what this is what I, I don't know what to say, but this is really a lovely meal that you have to try it. So if you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up, okay, and please subscribe to my channel and do put on your post notifications so that when I put up a new video you will be notified. Thanks so much for watching and may God richly bless you. Bye.